So with Valentine's Day around the corner, I figured I'd give you guys some really amazing romantic, you know, date-like fragrances to fit the occasion. However, not only for the gents, but also for the ladies, that's right, you heard it correctly, I'm gonna give you choices for men and women in this video to smell incredible and spice things up in your life this Valentine's Day. So whether you're going for a date night, whether you're going for a romantic dinner, if it's your first date, if you're married, if you're celebrating an anniversary, if it's your first Valentine's Day, it's your first time dating, these are gonna fit the occasion perfectly. So if you wanna spice up your life, stick around, the picks are up next. Welcome back to another video, I'm Max Forte. As you know, these are going to be amazing picks to spice up your life for Valentine's, romantic, whatever occasion. You want something that's gonna be seductive, attractive, I got you covered. So the caveat here, these picks are amazing, but they're not gonna break the wall. I wanted to be sensitive enough to the fact that we're going through some tough times right now, the pandemic, you guys know the drill. I'm not gonna go into that route of negativity, but we know what the world's going through. So I wanna give you guys some picks that are not only smell incredible, but will not hurt your wallet. So without any further ado, again, this is for gents and women. I'm gonna go women's first, of course, you gotta be the gentleman. It's gonna be like the right thing to do here. So we're gonna go ladies first and then we'll cover the gents. So without any further ado, let's hop into the picks. First pick here for the ladies, we have a fragrance that's a modern day classic, vanilla, coffee, spices, amber, you get my drift. This stuff here will definitely warm things up for you. This is Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. Absolutely stunning fragrance, my love, my love, yes, my love. My wife loves to wear this. I love when she wears this. It's just, it's an opulent, amazing, sensual fragrance, guys. Black Opium at the first pick here. Uh, not the most cheap, but also you can find this at great prices as you'll see down in the description of this video. Black Opium, Yves Saint Laurent, my first sensual choice for Valentine's 2021. Vanilla, iris, a little bit floral, tonka beans, just an incredible fragrance, which I actually reviewed this for you guys with my wife. I'm gonna pop it up here if you guys wanna check out this review. It's gonna be Mont Guerlain, of course, from the house of Guerlain. This is a liqueur, it opens up almost boozy-like, you know, the, the rosy jasmine patchouli feel here, along with the tonka and vanilla, gives this almost like a, a sensual elixir of pleasure. It's like a liqueur, it smells amazing. I love when my wife wears this, just, just attracts me, just, just mesmerizes and brings me to her. And it's one that if you definitely wanna smell amazing this Valentine, you can spray your hair, the back of your neck. You're definitely gonna attract your significant other if you want to seduce somebody. This is the potent, perfect elixir to do that. Mont Guerlain at the second spot for the ladies' most seductive, romantic Valentine's Day potions. Before I give you my final pick of the perfect Valentine's lady scent that I think will be amazing for this Valentine's Day or romantic settings, I'm gonna give you a wild card. I'll do this for the guys as well. I think when it comes to a great wild card fragrance, something that you can actually wear, not only for romantic settings, but if you don't have so much of a gourmand take, maybe you don't like heavier vanilla, spicy and sweet fragrances, you want something a little more easy to like, easy to appreciate. So I'm gonna give you this fragrance right here, which is another one that it's an amazing fragrance from Chanel. We know Chanel does it well. This is Coco Mademoiselle. These days it's actually surpassed Chanel number five in sales for a reason. This stuff smells amazing. But, but again, you might smell like a lot of ladies out there because this must be a fragrance that a lot of ladies have in their wardrobe and collection. So if you want something different, all the picks I'm giving you will do that. But this one here, you cannot discard that this is an incredible fragrance that's gonna make you smell amazing. It's got this ambery, jasmine, rosy kind of a feel. It's a little bit creamy, it's a little bit spicy. It gets you from all different angles, but it's blended to perfection. Like I said, Chanel does it well. My last pick here for the ladies, which I think is the perfect Valentine's Day or something that you could definitely have in your, in your collection for those special occasions. It's going to be this fragrance right here from Christian Siriano. This is Oula Rouge, which is actually a fragrance that I reviewed for you guys a few months ago, I wanna say five, six months ago. I'll pop it up here so you guys can check out the full review if you wanna understand in depth what this fragrance is like. But you're gonna get not only this fragrance, but also comes with a cool lip balm. Again, you wanna see the whole you know, kit and caboodle on this fragrance, go check out the review. And the fragrance is Oula Rouge. Now, sure, you may say this fragrance here from what you've heard. If you haven't heard, I'll let you know right now. I'll give you the 411. This fragrance is going to smell very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. It's not a dupe, however, because it has more of a floral mid. There's a heavy dose of jasmine in here. It also has pralines, which will make this very gourmand. So it's like Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum goes gourmand. It smells amazing, it's long lasting, and get this, 
ridiculous price for 100 mil like this. I'm gonna have it in the description below along with the code MAX15 if you guys wanna pick up a bottle for Valentine's Day. This is a perfect occasion to add something like this to your collection. Believe me, long lasting, plus the 15% off. Smells like Baccarat Rouge. It's, you know, a match made in heaven, guys. All details down in the description for you. All right, gents, if you stuck around, you are a true gentleman, of course. A lot of those fragrances that I talked about for the ladies, if ladies aren't watching this, you can actually gift your lady because they're gonna smell amazing for you. But for the guys, we're gonna start off with a fragrance here that I absolutely love. You guys know how much I talk about this fragrance over and over again. And this is Stronger With You from Emporio Armani. Now this is gonna be the OG. This is gonna be a roasted chestnuts, a nutty, almondy, vanilla slash tonka beans. It is more jovial, more youthful. Definitely for somebody maybe going on their first date or if you're just starting to date or if you're a youngster out there, this will fit the bill perfectly. Or if you're a young at heart person like myself, you know, from time to time, I wanna wear something like this to feel a little bit younger, but I also like the heavier fougere. So it goes to show, you know, I like a little bit of everything, but this is about you, it's not about me. So if you wanna smell amazing this Valentine's, guys, check out Stronger With You because it's gonna have everything you need to have for a great romantic evening. The next fragrance here is something that I've spoken to you guys an awful lot over the past two years for a reason. This is a steal of a fragrance when you understand what it smells like. I'm talking about Mustache Eau de Parfum 2018 release. Over the past two years, I talked about this. It made a lot of top lists, complimented, attractive, romantic. That's why it's here today. This is Mustache Eau de Parfum, guys. This is a fruity, patchouli with rose. There's a little bit of a floral undertone in the middle, but it's a gorgeous, ambery, spicy, fruity patchouli, guys. That's all you need to know. And here's the deal, guys. It smells very similar to a $300 fragrance from the private collection of Yves Saint Laurent called Tuxedo. I'm sure you guys know about this, but if you don't know it, you know it now. Mustache Eau de Parfum, amazing performance. Smell great, compliments through the wazoo. Check out if you have a great one to have if you're looking for something perhaps a little bit more mature, but it's also a little bit playful. There's some sweetness going on here, but the spicy patchouli will give this a more uh, well put together vibe, if you will, but a great one. Before I give you my final pick here for the top romantic scents for men, I'm gonna also give you guys a wild card, if you will, a jack of all traits for men. This fragrance here will fit every single category because the two key words here are tasteful and versatile. I'm talking about Bleu de Chanel, Parfum, the, the Parfum, which is the, the third release. You know, we had the EDT, the Eau de Parfum, and this is the, the Pure Parfum, or, or the Extract de Parfum, or Parfum, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's the Parfum. It's the third and final installment of these fragrances, and this is going to be that blue, just beautiful fragrance that in the next, you know, 20 years, it's going to be a classic. This is a modern day classic. You cannot dismiss the, the you know, how beautiful this fragrance smell and how it attracts the opposite sex. People love this fragrance, guys, gals, no matter what, it has that universal appeal. So if you wanna play it safe, you're gonna do great with this. This is woody spicy. It's got a gorgeous mint up top, some cypress, some woods in the base. It's a little bit spicy, it's a little bit blue. It hits you from all different angles, but like I said it before, Chanel does it well. Check this out if you haven't. It's a little bit pricey, like Mademoiselle. These are gonna be the priciest ones, you know, in the $100 range, 120, 130 bucks. But if you want to go all out and have something that will fit to every other occasion, not just a romantic, definitely consider checking this out. This last pick here is my favorite choice for romantic settings, especially if you're on a budget. You can't disregard how great this fragrance is, the price point, and how it lasts. You're talking about seven plus hours, and it's a sweet, ambery, tobacco, spicy ginger that is just out of this world good, guys. I'm talking about the one and only Dolce & Cabana, the one eau de parfum. Say what you will about this fragrance, but one thing is for sure, this stuff here smells amazing. This is one of the fragrances that never fails to give me positive notices. It's one of the top, most complimented fragrances I ever own. So it is one that you must have. If, you, if you're on a budget out there and you're looking for something that just smells incredible, romantic, sensual, attractive, seductive, this is a very, very sexy fragrance. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. It is making every list out there for a reason. This is one that I have to say that when all else fails, this is one that I always go to and never lets me down. So if you want something that's gonna fit the bill perfectly for romantic and seductive occasions, consider Dolce & Gabbana the one EDP if you haven't already. So there you have it guys, those are my picks for you to have a great seductive Valentine's Day romantic occasion, whatever you wanna go with. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what are your favorite fragrances that you love to wear for romantic settings, for dates, or Valentine's Day? Please, guys and gals, Go crazy in the comments. I'd love to read your comments and perhaps 
find something new that I haven't yet tried. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to show your support. You know the drill, leave me one of these, touch the little subscriber button, hit the little bell icon so you get videos like these straight into your feet. And remember, fragrance is emotion in motion. It's an extension of who you are, so choose your fragrance wisely, wear it well. Of course, keep on spraying. Guys, by the way, guys can wear this too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.